Hey guys, I'm Alex C. And I'm unhappy. Patrick does have to wear the stall helm today because he is shooting the MP40 for the first part of the Thompson versus the MP40 challenge. I've got a good old American M1 helmet and an M1A1 Thompson. Well, I've got this be... terrible thing on my head and an MP40, which I actually quite like. Yeah. But uh, anyways, we're going to shoot these and compare and contrast the strengths of the Thompson and the MP40 versus the weaknesses of both weapons, which I think will be pretty fun. Yeah. So uh, let's get to it. Sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and compare cyclic rates between the MP40 and the Thompson. So we've each got 30 rounds loaded up, and we're going to do a mag dump, see who finishes first. Three, two, one. All right, guys, I'm here with my friend Alex, and uh, he's never shot a Thompson or an MP40 before. So we're gonna get his unbiased opinion as far as controllability on full auto goes. Think you can do that for us? Will do, Alex. All right, let's do it. So what'd you think? I'll tell you what, the uh, recoil is awesome. I I was steady the entire time. Uh, overall, I like it. So it's going to be a tough act to follow for the Thompson. It is going to be a tough one for the Thompson to, to compete with this MP40 here. All right, well, let's do the Thompson. Let's try it. All right, so now it's time to do the M1A1 Thompson controllability test. And uh, you ready for this? we Will do. All right, let's do it. Now I noticed it, it did rumble your body a little more. Uh huh. But as far as controllability, which gun edges out uh, as, a, as the leader? For controllability, I will have to say the MP40. Um, I did lose it a little bit, but I was able to maintain control uh, for the rest of the uh, the mag, the duration. So. Yeah. From a purely controllability standpoint, which one would you rather have? Or I like them both. toss up. I like them both. Um, I love the uh, Thompson and I love the MP40, but if I have to base it just off of controllability, I'll go. Have, I'll have to go with the MP40. Okay, so uh, I think round one as far as controllability goes to the MP40, but just by a little bit. Correct, yeah, just by a little bit. All right guys, so we've got a new shooter. This is my friend Randy, and he's uh, never shot a Thompson or MP40 either. So what we're gonna have him do is try and shoot a pie plate, which is a, a 12, inch, uh, 12 inch wide plate, at about 12 yards, as you can see downrange. Um, we'll pan to it a little later, but anyways, Randy, you reckon you can try and put uh, the whole magazine on that pie plate? I'll see what I can do. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's go down range and check that out. All right guys, so Randy scored 11 hits out of 30 at 12 yards, which isn't too bad for a machine gun. Um, most of the hits are up here. It did rise a little bit, but he did get some nice uh, hits here. Um, all in all, 11 out of 30 is not bad for a first try with a machine gun. I'm actually pretty impressed there, Randy. All right. um, what do you think you can do with the Thompson? Uh, hopefully I can do at least the same. Okay, let's try it. All right. All right, guys, now it's time to try the Thompson with the same accuracy test as the MP40. The Thompson is a 45, so I bet Randy will hit a few less rounds, but you never know. So let's give it a shot, Randy. Okay. All right, guys, so Randy actually hit 12 out of 30, which is uh, not bad. That's one more, the 11 out of 40 with the MP40. Uh, um, did you find the Thompson just better to shoot or what? I really liked the controllability for some reason. Uh, even though the MP40 has less recoil, the Thompson to me just felt very stable. So you felt more at home on the Thompson? I felt more at home. Uh, do you think the sights helped a little bit? The sights definitely helped. Okay, so what was the strength of the Thompson the biggest thing that jumped out versus the MP40. Um, I'm not sure. It just seemed it just seemed to fit right and hold on target a little bit better. Now you're not biased because you're an American, are you? 
Not at all. <laughs> okay. Now, if you had to take one uh, just into combat, which one would you choose? I would still probably choose the MP40. Really? Why is that? The uh, the light recoil, it seems like if I needed to, I could shoot it all day. Um, this one, on the other hand, um, I think after uh, days full of combat, it's a lot heavier, a lot harder to hold up. Um, also, the weight of the gun is, is noticeably heavier. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, uh, good shooting though, Randy. Thank you. All right, so now it's my turn to try the MP40 and the Thompson uh, accuracy-wise. Here we go. All right, so I was able to land 30 hits on this target at uh, the same distance, 12 yards. It is worth noting, I am more experienced. Obviously, I've shot this more than uh, Randy, but um, I'm actually surprised that I was able to do that. Uh, 30 rounds on this pie plate at 12 yards. Um, I must say, I'm actually quite taken aback. Now, of course, this hit right here just kind of winged it. Um, so did this one here, but uh, nonetheless, we're gonna count those, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that with the Thompson. All right, so now it's time for me to embarrass myself with the Thompson. I don't think I'll be able to top the MP40, but here goes. Let's go down range and check that out. All right, so I was able to land 26 out of 30 with the Thompson. Not as good as the MP40, but still. The recoil of the 45 ACP is much greater, so I'm actually very surprised I was able to do this well. Um, also, most of the targets are all center mass. There's less, uh, you know, it's a less sporadic pattern. Um, I gotta say, this is kind of eye-opening. I was almost 100% certain that the MP40 would blow the Thompson out of the water, but uh, here we are. All right, so we have uh, some pretty good data on both guns. We've both been behind them. Uh, we've done a lot of accuracy tests with different people and stuff, as far as controllability tests. But we still have a dissenting opinion this time, actually. Um, Do we? Well, you know, when we went out with the MP40 and did our MP40 video, we were 100% sure that the MP40 would blow the Thompson out of the water. Um, while the MP40 was more accurate, I'm going to attribute that to the smaller cartridge. And less I mean, yeah, there's a lot less recoil. The slower rate of fire doesn't contrib yeah, it contributes to that. Yeah, um, but with the Thompson, you get 45 ACP. Now, I know there's a lot of internet debate about 45 versus 9, but the 45 is a you know, bigger round that recoils more. Um, it doesn't fly as far as the nine millimeter and blah, blah, blah. There's, you know, look all that kind of stuff up. But uh, I gotta say, if I had to take one and go out the door and start fighting people, which I pray to God I never have to do, I would probably grab the Thompson. And I'm disagreeing with you. Okay. Uh, I think this is more controllable. The rate of fire is slower. Therefore, it allows me to get more, uh, get more shots on target, uh, especially if I'm under stress. You know, that's uh, a valid point. Um, I wouldn't feel bad about taking either gun. They're both no. absolutely pleasurable to shoot. Um, yeah, I agree with you on that. Um, but the one thing that this does have that that doesn't is uh, a weight advantage. That's true. Car carrying one of these things for a while, um, the lighter you go, the better off you are. Yeah, I would like to state that Thompson is an absurdly heavy gun. Um, it's it's roughly 12 pounds, I think. Absolutely, and it's also a very large gun. When you fold yes. that, it's actually very compact, very handy. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as that aspect yeah, goes, you can see our MP40 video for that. Yeah, it's a, it's a better gun in that regard. But, um, you know, both guns are great. They're both great pieces to shoot, and I'd recommend that you try both of them to absolutely. get your own opinion. Yeah, absolutely. But anyways, uh, let's, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Ventura Ammunition, for providing ammunition for this test. Also, if you did that subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. It lets us know that uh, you guys like what we're doing, which means a lot to us. Anyways, I'm Alex E. And I'm Patrick R. Thanks for watching TFB TV.